think we have a lot of people maybe who weren't born when Doris was first around, I'm not sure. What we call Doris, or damage justice, that's one of our very first big effects that we did on a Metallica headline tour. And the Oscar goes to Doris was on the Justice Tour, and it was a big hit, and so we wanted to revisit that. And of course, uh, like most of the things in this show, it's bigger and better. I, I'd like to think that the word normal is not something that we, um, you know, throw around um, in this band. It's always interesting when somebody wants to do something that they did before, and it was very easy doing it before, and now they say, well, it should be that easy to do it again. In fact, nobody really remembers how difficult it was to do previously. Two, three, four. In 88, that's when the first Doris, it was smaller, it was simpler, it wasn't in the round, it was behind the back line, behind the drum kit. So we could stay hidden behind with ropes and we would pull on her to make her wobble and move. We have a high-tech Doris now that's, that's amazing. Three times as big, looks great, much more dramatic. How does it get built? I want to substitute the salt build it. Yeah, we have a cherry picker that comes up out of the stage. Yes, I see the cherry picker. And, and, and we have highly trained operatives who will ride the cherry picker and they'll put the thing together. So by the time we start Unforgiven, it's, it's still being yeah. built. So it's being built over two songs, correct? The idea that you're going to build a 35 foot sculpture during a song and knock it over and have it look real and believable is a very difficult thing to do. And the first thing you have to do is figure out, as you're building it, how the hell do you hold it together? The concept of putting Doris together was originally using a bunch of vacuum tubes to hold her together so that when we released the vacuums, she would collapse. We kind of gave up on that and really started from scratch after Treasure Island. So we rebuilt an entire new system for Doris. They put the pieces together with magnets, which is how it is now, I think. But then, of course, it won't fall to bits. So they have a pin that comes down with arms that come out and push it away, and it doesn't fall to bits. Now they've had to introduce two more pins that come up from the bottom and push it away. It just wouldn't collapse to auto command. <laughs> and I felt for those guys. God, they have spent 24 hours a day in these venues trying to make this work. Guys, let's pitch in and grab this. It takes uh, a team of people to build her, and yes, we, we practiced it as much as possible. We've built Doris in practice more than 100 times. Let's go. Right. I want to go from a clean deck. I'm going to get in the pit. Washer's going to get in the pit. First couple times, how long did it take? 19 minutes or something? Yeah. We would have had to have started as something the audience like is walking in. The guys down below know exactly what pieces are being handed when. They get them assembled. Our man on the floor, McLean, calling the cues for the crane to move is right on top of them. I haven't put a stopwatch on in a while, but... Uh, Probably like eight minutes now. I think at this point, most of the people know she's going to fall down. But trying to create that illusion, even if it's for just a brief second, that what we're doing is very, very real. All right, I'm going to do the large position of this, all right? What's so great about it, though, in a live show process, it's still, you just never know what could happen. She's so unpredictable. Sometimes she falls, sometimes she doesn't. Chunks of her may end up in the audience. I know that the other night, a couple pieces almost took out my bases. Oh yeah, Doris lands right there, and uh, a few times her body parts ended up landing over me and down here between me and the guitars. Yeah, taking out my antennas, taking out drinks. Um, so now we put up guardrails and we put down a half a dozen guys in front of me so we don't have to put up a safety net because that looks, that looks kind of weak, putting up a safety net. So we're just going for it. Try to make the head go that way. <laughs> My favorite is justice. Yeah. Justice. Todo justice for an amazing experience.
experience. I was ecstatic. Doris, the juice is for all. Justice is lost, justice is raped, justice is gone. Pulling your strings, justice is gone. And the justice for all statue. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. You know, if we're going to redo something, it's got to be to another level.